welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this video, you're either preparing for a breast reduction or you, you're thinking about it. But either way, I hope it's informative to you and helpful um, on whatever journey you're on. The process of this started in April 2022. I live in Toronto, Canada. someone who a um, is good but also B is good with black skin because I wasn't trying to have my breast looking toe up and also what was important to me as well was that the surgeon that I was gonna have was um, you know very versed on new techniques and constantly growing in how they do their procedures i mean i feel like some of these surgeons like they've been doing this since 1980 whatever and so they don't try to find out what kind of new techniques there are so my surgeon she's internationally trained she's worked with black skin she like plastic surgery is her thing outside of the hospitals she like works at a plastic surgery clinics doing um breast implants bbls liposuction everything you can think of so she knows what's up so i really like her so definitely do your research extensive research i was researching this probably like a year before i actually went through with the process um just kind of like seeing how i felt about it thinking about it praying about it and then that's how i made my decision so definitely do your research and um find like the surgeon that is a good fit for you found my surgeon gave my doctor her information and um she sent the referral over to her i got my first consultation in june of 2022 she examined me and she said i was a good candidate for the breast reduction and then she submitted the form to ohip for approval i got approval first week of september and um basically i've been waiting since well fast forward to now january there was a lot of shortages in the hospitals with the staff so breast reduction any kind of surgery actually there was a big backlog so i had to wait a bit but yeah so fast forward to january when i got my breast reduction which was a bilateral breast reduction and chest wall liposuction which is basically the area around your armpit and other parts around the breast that have fat so that it looks more aesthetically pleasing when you have your new size so that's what i was scheduled for so the video will basically be showing everything leading up to the surgery how i prepared myself and also one to five days post-op that's basically it i hope the video is informative and helps you and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you need any information on the products that i listed or mentioned it will be in the description box everything is on amazon basically that i got but yeah i hope you enjoy don't forget to thumbs up the video like share and subscribe join the family if you already haven't all right okay guys so i'm in walmart just looking for some bras and maybe like a pajama we need a bra that closes in the front i went to one walmart but i didn't see any so i mean if push comes to shove i will just order on amazon it has to be wireless Okay, so I found a sports bra with a zip front. So this is it. I mean, I think the pads can be taken out possibly, but this would be kind of neat. 
fitting ones are closed in here, so I can't even try it on, yeah. $18, not bad. Mm. We'll see, I'm not sure. They don't have any bras like that clothes in the front, so I think I'm gonna have to get them from Amazon, which I already ordered one surgical bra, but um, yeah, and they don't even have button down pajamas, so I'm gonna have to do that there too. But the good thing is that I kind of have a little shopping list, so I know what to order on Amazon. So I'm gonna see if I can get some slippers, chapstick, pop. <laughs> polysporin and then yeah that's basically it but I literally have like four days so that's not good and they're eight dollars so I'm gonna get these uh, chapstick because you might feel ashy after your surgery looking for antibacterial wash um I'm not sure where that would be like so body so i think i don't know i might have to go to a pharmacy for that yeah i'm not sure okay guys so so guys so i just left walmart um quite unsuccessful i did not get the pajama i saw okay correction i'm looking for button down nightgown i don't necessarily want to wear like pajama top and bottom because i feel like that makes me really hot and i just want to be comfortable i didn't see any um pajama button down nightgown so i'm just gonna order that on amazon <laughs> the only thing i got was chapstick they didn't sell antiseptic soap so I might have to go to an actual um, pharmacy and they might have it there. Um, and then those bed slippers I didn't even end up getting. They did not have any bras, like what a bust. I ordered already one bra and I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna see how it fits. I'm just testing it out the size. I know they say um, after post-surgery you're quite swollen so you really could be wearing your normal size because that's how much swelling you are going to have and then like two weeks later you might um go to a smaller size when the swelling goes down but yeah um so i ordered one based off of the fit i'm gonna order a second one off Amazon this one is $28.99 which is not bad compared to some of the other ones that I've seen and this one actually is a surgical bra it's not like a sports bra it's a surgical bra so I'm gonna see how it fits me and based off of that I might get the second one which is from the same brand um, I'm gonna get like a black and a nude but yeah I ordered my body pillow already from Amazon so that should be coming along with the surgical bra so once those come i will show you and um yeah like i'm just gonna take it from there based off of what my surgeon says then i'll proceed like in however much time with like um scar healing and stuff like that because i'm really gonna try to like take care of my scarring um so that you know they can be soft and as light as possible i mean i really don't care regardless about scarring because it's just important to me to have this procedure but i'm gonna try to like maintain my skin obviously so when i speak to her then i'll find out what she says so it, this is all very last minute that's happening so i'm just trying to like get everything together in a timely fashion um, so that I'm prepared like I have three children so I need to make sure my house is prepared and in order for my husband um, to manage that and my mother-in-law is coming thank God so I'm gonna have some extra hands she'll be with me for four weeks so that's really good um, yeah so I've been waiting for this and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it but yeah guys I guess the next thing will be the surgery date. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. 
Final words, final words. The night before the big day. It's well, been a good run. <laughs> I got to say, for a long time, this has been the highlight of my life. <laughs> I now hear that this is where we got to go. Sand of the road. <laughs> you know, and better times are ahead with, <laughs> with less of you. Oh my gosh. But, oh boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Oh, good titties. Oh, good titties. <laughs> Did my ID. So let's go to two days close up. Yeah, nobody can know soon can so the swelling is like over and over. And, and then I got I got to mention Zoom said they said this before. So so and this is trophy. Live. we have also district trophies. Body uh, pillow. I, I think I have a church trophy. Yeah. So we have we have a lot of tablets. swelling around the rib cage. Not, 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 Nobody not really talks about that, that but I've enough. been having quite tablets. a bit of swelling around the rib cage. Um just like overall discomfort. But um yeah, we're coming along. I'm gonna get my bandages changed in a few hours, so maybe I will vlog that. But yeah, this is what we're working with. This is from Amazon. And a lot of padding. As we are, when the visitors come, the members will get up and give their blessings. Did I hear an amen? This car is not too bad though. Yeah. This is my little setup on the couch, and this is from Amazon. It's really comfortable, so I've just been kind of laying here for days because my bed is a little uncomfortable. Okay, just got the step cleaned up. There's a baby crying, but yeah, we just cleaned up my dressing. Good. Guys, we are four days post off. I just got my drains removed. Um, different bra. Drains. Yeah, so that was the most uncomfortable part for me, the drains, because like it was horrible them taking out ice cream. My husband heard me from in the waiting area. My breasts don't actually hurt, but um like the site where the drain was was very uncomfortable laying on my back and not a lot of people talk about this but when they take those bad boys out it hurts so I was like hollering and I think I have a pretty good pain tolerance but I'm glad those are out my next appointment is in three days so my doctor will look at my incisions and see how everything is going haven't taken a shower yet bird baths yeah I feel better with them out though honestly um, hopefully tonight I have better sleep so yeah okay guys so here are some of the things that I purchased um, for the surgery I didn't really like go overboard I just got like a couple of stuff so first thing was this seven pack of hot and cold packs um, I got this off of Amazon I think it was $25 it looks like this and I have three of them in the freezer right now and so, so basically like this is one size I would just kind of like put it here or I put it like in my back because there was a lot of swelling like underneath and I did that so that was pretty good and there's like a really big one also um the next thing was a cervical bra which you guys seen these ones uh black and i got a cream 
and they come down lower like my incisions are kind of like right under here which is good so it's not rubbing on anything i have it on the last clasp and um yeah it's good it gives enough compression yeah it's good i also ordered other surgical bras that have a zipper it's actually not even a surgical bra it's a sports bra that has a zipper that might be easier however i'm still very swollen so i can't even wear those right now but i got them on amazon for i think 30 dollars they come in a pack like this you get you get three of them and they just look like this there's a black one but i took it out but like right now they're really tight but once i go down to my size they will fit very nicely i also got but i haven't used it yet this back brush from walmart to scrub my back my husband has been giving me bird baths and washing the parts that need to be washed so i haven't used it but um maybe when i can like move my arms a little bit more i will use that and then the last thing that i got was a uh, volturin and um my mother-in-law has been rubbing my back with it. it just helps relax your muscle ease pain things like that um i didn't even expect to have back pain which is really weird but like under my armpit like where the wings of my shoulder is there's a lot of swelling and pain and the drains were there i took the drains out yesterday so um the volturin has helped a lot to alleviate some pain in addition to me adding the cold packs to my back and um yeah like that's really it i didn't really go overboard i showed you guys the body pillow that i got which has been good because i've been sleeping on the couch for like five days now but yeah that's really it i didn't go overboard i just said you know what i'm gonna just see how i feel you know sometimes you could buy everything that you see that they recommend but you might not need it so i'm like i'll just go day by day amazon does same day delivery which is great so anything that i need i could just order it but yeah that's pretty much it